Two women went on trial on June 19 over false claims that French First Lady Brigitte Macron was transgender, which sparked online rumour-mongering by conspiracy theorists and the far right. In 2022, Mrs. Brigitte Macron filed a complaint for libel against two women who posted a YouTube video in December 2021 alleging she had once been a man named Jean Michel. The claim went viral just weeks before the 2022 presidential election. The trial on defamation charges comes amid a frenetic campaign for snap legislative polls called by President Emmanuel Macron after the far right trials his party in European Union Parliament elections. Ms. Omandine Roy, a self proclaimed spiritual medium, appeared in court in Paris on June 19 to answer questions about the interview she conducted with Ms. Natasha Ray, an independent journalist who did not turn up citing illness. Ms. Roy, 49, had interviewed Ms. Ray for four hours on her YouTube channel, in which the journalist spoke about the state lie and scam that she claimed to have uncovered. Miss Ray was desperate to share her work. Said Miss Roy, who had merely acquiesced to her request. As for the credibility of the claims, Miss Roy insisted that Miss Ray had spent three years researching, it's not like she pulled it out of her hat. My regret is that this wasn't taken out and investigated by the mainstream media, said Miss Roy, who said she could not hide such a serious subject. Neither the president, 46, nor the 71-year-old first lady were in court. Messages multiplied on social media claiming that the first lady, formerly Miss Bridget Trogneau, had never existed and that her brother Jean-Michel had changed gender and assumed that identity. The false claim also led to more serious accusations of child abuse brought against France's first lady. The prejudice is massive, it exploded everywhere, said Mrs. Bridget Macron's lawyer, Mr. Jean Inochi. He demanded 10,000 euros, 14,500 Singapore dollars in compensation, each for Mrs. Bridget Macron and her brother. The disinformation even spread to the United States, where Mrs. Bridget Macron was attacked in a now deleted YouTube video ahead of the November elections. Mrs. Bridget Macron is among a group of influential women, including former U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama and New Zealand former Premier Jacinda Ardern, who have fallen victim to the growing trend of disinformation about their gender or sexuality to mock or humiliate them. A decision on the case is due to be made on September 12.